this session i will show you how to publish the react js live application to the live server smarter asp dot net okay so i will first show you the smarter asp dot net you can see that they are providing different kinds of hosting so i have a temporary account on smarter asp dot net and i will publish the react js my live application to the server right now open your react js application in the vs code as you can see that i have already opened my react js application in the vs code now go to the terminal in the terminal you have to type the command npm run Press enter. You can see that the build folder created successfully. So after few seconds, all the files will be published inside this build folder. Wait for the completion process. Once all things done, then we will uh, move this folder to our live server. Okay. So the website uh, published successfully uh, to the build folder. Let's me show you the files inside this folder. Okay. Now here, the build folder, uh, I have all the files. So let's me uh, a zip folder of this build folder. Okay. Now go to the smarterasp.net. I am already logged in and here is my all websites. Now just click on new site and here give a name. Okay. Submit. will take a little time for the first time uh, for creating uh, the new site pass the value so that um, the process completed I will resume again okay so the site you can see here created successfully it is the temporary URL no, I will just go to the file manager. Okay, and here in the file, uh, uh, in the folder, you will get this default file. No, check this and delete. No, click on this button, the upload button. And here navigate to the folder. So, I, let's me copy the path of my folder. Just uh, navigate to the folder and here is the build folder. Click on open and click on upload. You can also follow the same steps for any other hosting platform like GoDaddy, Hostinger to publish the React.js application. You have only to upload the build folder files inside the directory of the website i'm mean inside the file manager if you are using plesk then it is also very simple just go to the uh, file manager and upload the build folder files I have uh, 
a slow internet issue so apologize for this okay file uploaded uploaded successfully now just close this pop up and here you will see the build.zip folder now unzip this folder check and unzip I will unzip, unzip to the react site ok now it is my site name that I just added click on submit ok now you can see also this folder now I will delete the build.zip folder ok now click on this folder I will check all these files okay no click on move Here i will again select my site folder okay just click on this one you can see that the path is selected and click on submit okay no i will also delete the build folder because i have successfully loaded all the files now you can see at the directory react site I have all uh, the files that uh, inside the build folder. Let me show you. Okay, you can see the static and all other things. This file is additional because I am using for the live server. So if you are uh, finding a file in your project, then don't worry. I have added this file for my some additional purpose. Okay. No, I will see my site. No, click on websites again I just want to see the site it is my site and it is the temporary URL no I will click on temporary URL and let's see whether my site working or not okay guys as you can see there the site published successfully and no each and everything is working fine let's me go to the detail page of the product and i can see each and everything in a working condition so thank you for watching the video uh, please subscribe the channel so that i can upload more content for you thank you